Well, a team of researchers from the University of Sydney have developed a novel chemical process that could produce sustainable aviation fuel from gases emitted by landfills. Researchers claim that the fuel can help produce greenhouse gas emissions. Well, the methane coming out of landfills is a sustainable biogas. It's carbon neutral because it's produced from short-term addressable food. Um, and it can replace the fossil methane that we're using in society today. And we think if you take all the waste that we're producing in Australia, all the household waste, all the bio waste, all the sludges from water treatment, and you convert it into energy, that could supplement about 10% of Australia's energy supply. And that's a massive amount in terms of mitigating climate change. Now, it is estimated that the aviation industry alone accounts for 3% of global carbon emissions. Researchers said that they used non-thermal plasma technology to produce sustainable. This technology fires high-energy electrons, in fact, in normal atmospheric conditions to methane and carbon dioxide emitted from landfills. From there, a splitting and coupling process takes place, wherein carbon and hydrogen bond together to produce long-chain hydrocarbons or the basic building blocks of unrefined fuel. Um, I think the impact is very significant because um, unusually you have a win-win uh, approach here. In one sense we have this idea that we're going to be capturing emissions that are coming from landfill. Uh, on the other we have a sector that really needs um, a new technology in order to become more sustainable. Um, the aviation industry accounts for approximately 3% of the world's uh, emissions. So clearly you cannot get to net zero without producing some sustainable solutions. While methane warming potential is more than carbon dioxide, it breaks down in the atmosphere within just years compared with decades for carbon dioxide. That means that reining in methane emissions can have a more immediate impact in limiting climate change. Sustainable aviation fuel is the key to reducing those emissions, but it is costly and amounts to less than 1% of total global jet fuel. The global aviation industry is relying on a ramp up in production of sustainable aviation fuel or the SAF to meet its target of net zero carbon emissions by 2050. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.